You are tuned to ARP on the Accelerated Radio Network. It's 12 noon, and it's time to have lunch. Lunch with the Finance Bunch. Lunch with the Finance Bunch. Lunch with the Finance Bunch. Bringing money talk you can understand. And now here's your host, Miss Charlene. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Lunch with the Finance Bunch. This is Miss Charlene, and this show is brought to you today by Arkstone Financial. We have in our studio audience today. I'm so excited. Tanel, how are you? Excited to be here. I am excited to have you here. I made it. I'm here. You made it. I made it, girl. And she made drove it. from Las Vegas to be I with did, us. I Thank did. you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you're so welcome. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry I was a little bit late, but I'm here. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's cool. Okay. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> Look, you have the number one reggae album on iTunes for 2017. How does that feel? Unreal. Unreal? Yeah, unreal. Um, amazing. Yeah. And yeah, like you know, everything that you do, it's not in vain. So exactly. when that when that notification came up and we got I got the emails from iTunes and um, Billboard charts as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just like wow. It, like, all what? of that wasn't me? in vain. Yes, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now how long have you been singing? I've been singing for so I started singing um, when I was 12 years old with vocal coach Tim Carter. I'm still the same vocal coach to this wow. day. Yeah, and then um, I was actually still in high school. I was in 12th grade and I joined a group called Court Brown. Mm-hmm. That's where I met um, Joey Kinga and uh, JR um, Sasuole Malinga. I call him his government name. But that's where <laughs> I met him and um, joined, court, uh, joined uh, Common Kings from there. And with Common Kings, I was their background vocalist as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was able to experience so much, so many places, so um, so many places, faces, and food. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. girl, food. <laughs> I love food. I sing, I'll sing for food. My new merch is going to have, I sing for food. Wow. <laughs> yes, girl, you know? Everybody loves food. Who doesn't love food? Who doesn't love you food? Know? I love food, too. I do. <laughs> so this is your first time on my show, and we really want to get to know you. So... Um, I want to ask you like a bunch of questions. So if I speed up, it's slow me down, okay. you know, because mm-hmm. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. So now, where, when did you get involved in music, like on your own, like as a solo artist? When did you start as a solo artist? I know you have a background of, you know, same background and a part of a group, but as a solo artist, when did you say I'm stepping out on my own? I would say with court with uh with Common Kings. Okay. So with Common Kings. Um, you know, I felt like I did my part and I, I served my time with my brothers as yes. far as I seen what what their potentials were and mm-hmm. that they didn't really need me anymore as far mm-hmm. as being their background vocalist, you know. Mm-hmm. And so for me, I knew that I have a message to to share as well. And I have music to share for on behalf of my own family and yes. on behalf of my own friends. And um, to just meet them in agreement, I knew that I was meant to to be in the front not in the back anymore yeah and it was my time so it wasn't so much I separated from them but more mm-hmm. so like mm-hmm. okay it's Tanel's time now right. you know um, and and I, I I'm like such I'm such a big person um, with a huge heart so I'm always like I think about myself last mm-hmm. all the time and that was probably the first time in my life I thought about myself um, mm-hmm. and yeah and when I did that, it was not easy. <laughs> it was not easy, you know. I, I would see my brothers go and travel the world, and usually I would be them there with them, traveling the world right. but, um, alongside them. But, um, you know, I had to take that sacrifice and take those two steps back to now take that full leap forward and now hit reggae charts. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. Now. Um, what or who inspired you um, and really acknowledged your talent first? Who said, girl, you can sing? My, my dad. Your dad? Yeah. My dad is my number one fan. Yeah, he... Um, him and my mom, I, they didn't really know I could sing. Like, even when I, they were paying for my vocal lessons since I was 12. Mm-hmm. It was just something that I wanted to do. And so um, they encouraged and They just encouraged and supported, and my mom just wrote the checks. Okay, girl, go ahead, you know. But my dad didn't know I could sing, sing until um, my family reunion. And we sang um, I'm, I'm, I'm Never by Ratna. And that is when literally, yeah, the His whole family. Yeah, Everybody he, got and he actually out. started crying. Aww. Yeah, he started crying, and it was um, my Uncle Robert. 
um, my uncle Lloyd, which are the two individuals that put together the Accord Brown, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that's when that's when he knew I could sing. That's actually when I knew I could sing. When I saw the people's reaction to me singing and I saw a lot of my aunts and my dad crying which is a man who never cries yeah uh, but when I saw him cry that made me realize like wow I think I got something here you know and it made me feel good like someone once told me sing in such a way that you give yourself goosebumps yeah so now I sing in that way so that I give myself goosebumps not thinking about so much of the people but thinking about to know yes the vessel yeah, yeah. And you're probably like your hardest critic. Oh right? yes, you so. can ask Joey that. <laughs> so, if you, so if you or like you can play too. <laughs> so if you're satisfied with your song, then you know that it's a good one, like a great one. I never, I never know. I'm never, never sure. No, I'm never sure. And that is one thing about me that I do need to get better at and be mm -hmm. more positive and be more certain. Um, like I love, I love certain songs, but as time time changes so fast, like That's true. this generation has an attention span of seven seconds now. Right. So exactly. you never really know, like you never know, like what they're gonna like or what they're gonna love. So it's really about staying true to yourself yes. now and and know, knowing who I am as a person and just giving my all and giving myself chills every time. So that's that's, that's cool. my goal. <laughs> Now, what are your some of your responsibilities as the artist? Do you get to just show up and say, "Hey, here I am. Let me just go in the booth and start singing," or are there actual responsibilities that you have along the way? Ooh, my responsibility. You want me to go there? <laughs> I don't think we have enough footage for that. <laughs> um, my responsibilities as the artist. Woo. Um, so there's artists and there's management and there's. There's all kinds of things that go into play as far as to know the artist. For me, my responsibilities, mm -hmm. um, I, I, the ideas of, for social media, um, my responsibilities are the music, um, the studio sessions, who I feel a vibe with, who I, um, certain um, producers and engineers and um, those relationships I build um, from merchandise to um, logos and concepts and visuals and mm. all of those wardrobe it all comes yeah. uh, makeup to make sure you you know it all looks good and you all, like it and, all of that right all of that so I actually have like a, an awesome creative team that right. backs me and um, an awesome social media um, team that backs me as well and um, I actually have my cousin Vanessa who who gives me all these ideas because I'm not a social media person I have to be yes because that's where this world is going you know yeah. everything is social um, however I'm a post and go kind of person mm -hmm. so my cousins I have about two cousins that go in and like a lot of they 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 know who I am you know exactly. but they go in and act for yeah. me yeah as, I, you I, know I, as my social media team exactly and give me ideas as far as like oh this hashtag is good right now and this hashtag is uh, trending right now and this is trending and this is trending I, like me I, I don't have time to to figure all to that figure out. out what's trending right now you know what I mean I'm writing songs and trying to right. you know and I still have a job so you know what I mean so I have to um, I have a lot of responsibilities and 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 all that I'm the oldest of seven so um, wow yeah it's probably my that's probably my brother calling me right now <laughs> but yeah um, I'm the oldest of seven and yeah it's I, I have a crazy life but you know what the reason I ask that question is because sometimes I notice people think that the artist can just just shows up into in a room and just start singing, you know, beautifully dressed like they just pull something out of their closet, put it on, Ooh, yeah. and their hair was perfect when they woke up, and their makeup, and they just walked in and everything was perfect. You oh, know, yeah. they don't realize how much goes into creating true, very true. the vision. Yeah, I can't speak for other artists mm -hmm. that are more established than I am, but speaking for myself. No, I don't have that pleasure. I don't have that. Um, but I'm I'm privileged to struggle to understand what it feels like to be blessed. Yeah. Now, what was the feeling when the first time you heard your song play back to you? Oh my gosh, I was in Hawaii in a taxi. Uh -huh. I was in Hawaii in a taxi cab, and it played on the radio. And I was with a friend of mine, and I started screaming. <laughs> I started screaming. I was sweat. I immediately started sweating. I was screaming. I started crying. Oh my gosh, it's me! Oh my gosh, it's me! It's me! And I'm telling the cat, turn it up, can you turn it up, turn it up. He's like, 
that's you. It's like, and he's getting excited. excited. He's getting excited. I'm getting excited. Um, I pass the phone to her. Please record it, record it, record it. She gets me like flipping out. Um, but that was like the best feeling ever. Nice. Ever. I'm getting How chills just here. <laughs> I wasn't even there. Yeah, <laughs> however, I went to Columbia recently. I just got back from Columbia the day That's before awesome. yesterday. And it was amazing. It was so amazing. The people are so beautiful and so welcoming and so respectful. Um, there were two people in the crowd that were singing for the lovers. And for that, for me, in a country where pe they don't speak great English. English. That's right singing for the lovers it was like three words i don't even know what it was but i saw the girl's mouth moving i was like oh my gosh are you singing the words but they didn't know that i actually translated it into spanish wow. so i actually um ended my whole set with singing it in spanish and the entire crowd went so crazy wow. and that is how that's when i knew like okay languages language like mm -hmm. you have to understand the, in, order, in order to understand the people and the culture to understand the language that's how they just felt so respected in that in yeah. that moment, you know. So yeah. I need to learn like a whole bunch of languages. Huh? A couple, that would be good. Maybe like two. Two. I'll start with two. Uh, that's a, that's a good idea. Maybe three. Yeah, three. Three. That's the number. Three that's the number. <laughs> three. <laughs> three I'm overwhelmed already. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we will hit the masses, though, for sure, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so when you're not in the studio, what are some of the things that you like to do? I love to hang out with my family and my cousins and the kids. I love to pick up the kids and just take them out. I love to put together barbecues where all of us cousins and the next generation get together okay. um, because um, that's what like one of my, my auntie, my auntie Sonia, she used to do all the time. She'd mm -hmm. pick us all up and we, she would take us to the block and, and we'd do things and we remember those things that yeah. that our, our older, um, our older cousins or siblings or aunties did for us so I like to do those kinds of things um, where I, I don't spend any money but we spend time and you more create than money. memory yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. that's the most valuable yeah. thing is that's, the memories yeah. you create yes amen yes. yeah amen I like you <laughs> I like you too <laughs> <laughs> this is fun this won't be the last time right no definitely yeah, not you kidding yeah I'm kidding I want to come to your concert too we're best friends yeah. oh, what are we eating after oh that, you know <laughs> we'll talk about that now, who are some of your mentors? Do you have mentors? Yes, I have so many. Um, my my dad, my, my parents, my mom, um, um, Joey Kinga, Sisa, Anuai, um, Chaz, Tony, uh, Tautua Reed, uh, my grandmother, mm -hmm. um, my family, really. Yeah, they're, and a whole, they're mentor. My family is crazy my life if I had two words I would describe my life as organized chaos okay yeah <laughs> so organized in a nutshell chaos organized chaos <laughs> um, but yeah like I find yeah so many people in my life are are my encouragement and yeah my mentors so do you think for a young artist starting out do you think it's important for them to have a mentor oh yes oh yes it's important for them to have a mentor and it's important for them to know why they do it as well okay it's important to know yeah there's a there's a difference between wanting to be famous and then wanting to be heard see I don't want to be famous I don't care to be famous but I do know that I'm destined to be heard I and like I have that. a message to share I don't care for the fame and the and the money and all that stuff because I I know gutter to butter and I understand that and um, music for me I know is a universal language and yes. I know that I ha I'm gifted with that so however I know that there's a lot of people that want to be singers nowadays yes. and there's a lot of shows and and things like that and, and that's fine that's mm -hmm. awesome I love it um, however I know why you do it and know what you do it for exactly because you're just gonna burn yourself out I've been doing music for 12 years right. so you have to love it oh yes I've been a background vocalist for 12 it. years 12 yeah. years and then branched off for the, the past three years and mm -hmm. now you have a number have my, one my first album your first album <laughs> first number album. one yeah. single yeah. On, yeah. from a reggae album yeah for this year mm -hmm. that's amazing I know it's it's God, not me. Yeah. It's all God. And it's your destiny. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It wow. is. That's okay. why I don't stress about the coulda, shoulda, wouldas, yeah? Right. 
It's like, it's good. It's already, it's already written, you know? Who is your favorite artist? That is like asking me what is my favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that question. Who's my favorite artist? <laughs> so you have a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. A favorite yeah. artist. Okay. Um, shoot. That's hard. Okay. okay, if it was just three. Just three. Just three. Just three. Um, I would say, oh, this is so, this is so hard. Um, I got to get better with this question. Every time, I, it's so hard for me. Um, Lauren Hill. Okay. She's one of my favorites, too. Betty Wright. Okay. And I would say right now in my, in my life, Molly Music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, those, those are my three. Right now. Those are okay. my three favorites. Yes. Nice. <laughs> now, what is your favorite genre of music? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I know kind of what you're going to say, but I just need to hear it. So, okay. I don't know. So reggae, R&B. That's kind of like, it's, that's what it it's like. A, yes. Yeah, it's right. Like it's like, like a ball. Yes. And it's all in there. It's all in there. It's all in that yes. ball. It's all in the ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hard question though. I know. Such a, I, I can keep going, but yes. Reggae, R&B. So, okay. Now, what made about mo what motivates you to continue doing music? What motivates you? Um, women, women and struggle, and mm -hmm. my family, and where I've been, where I am, and where I know I'm supposed to be. You know, where I'm going. Yeah, that that encourages me. Um, yeah, my dad says I need to go to sleep. So. <laughs> You need to rest. <laughs> always on that phone. You're always on that laptop. I'm like, Dad, who else is gonna do it? Who Come else on. Is gonna do it? They they're doing it, but who, we gotta meet some people halfway. That's right. You know? <laughs> so what made motivates you to continue to do music in the way that you do it? Because you are all over the place. Like you just got back from Las Vegas. You literally drove in and came to this studio to meet with me. I did. And so like and I just came from Columbia the day before the that. The day before that, right. Yeah. Do you do you sleep? I did. I slept. For like four hours? Four whole hours? Four whole hours. Wow. It was four whole hours. <laughs> I need to sleep some more. I know. Name three of your top three reasons you want to succeed. Three of my top reasons I mm -hmm. want to succeed. Ooh, okay, let's be smart about these three. One, I would say to enhance the kingdom. Okay. To enhance the kingdom. I mean, not throwing rocks at a glass house in any kind of way, and I am not holier than anyone else, but I know that heaven is real and God yes. is real. Mm -hmm. And I know that enhancing the kingdom of God, that's why certain individuals have gifts. That's why everyone has gifts. That's right. That's why I have this gift. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Yeah. Uh, two would be to be able to build an empire for the next generation to come mm -hmm. financially. Yes. So I need to be successful, so successful in a way that I am able to help, not enable, no, but help. help. Yeah, help the next generation so that you know my future kids right don't have to work as hard as I as do. Yeah, yeah. and ha don't have to work as hard as my father had to, and my yeah. mom had to, and my grandma had to. So, yes, that's two. Three, um, yeah, there, there's so many broken people in this world. Yes, there are. There, there's so many people that are so depressed and there are so many people that hide so much behind their smile mm -hmm. including myself you know and I know that um, I have an aura that sometimes and a lot of times lights up a room mm -hmm. and I count that a privilege so I know that my success will lift the spirits of other people and it's not about me more about them mm -hmm. so yeah I don't really I don't ever do anything for me I always do it for the people right. <laughs> yeah. my family and my friends and yeah music wow. yeah. now how do you fund your projects like how does that how do they get funded um so I I, I have I have two jobs uh -huh. um, I have 
I have uh, two jobs. I have two jobs. And that that helps to fund you. It, oh yeah, it helps to fund. It helps mm -hmm. to fund um, my so management. So multiple helps. streams of income is important. Oh yes. Okay. Oh yes, always. Um, and I have great friends. I have some great friends that um, and management. They they help as well. They've helped mm -hmm. for half of the project, and I and I covered the other half okay. just to be um, smart on owning my rights. Exactly, because you don't want to be in debt to someone. No, you I want your own paper to be your paper. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, and I want to rightfully give back what yes. everyone else has sold into my gift. You exactly. Know? So I know that for me, I'm like my mother. So I I work and I will work and invest into my own craft as well. Mm -hmm. So um, all of the investments, um, yeah, come from myself and fundraisers. I yes. had a, a huge plate sale where we raised $10,000 at Brada's Bar nice. and Grill. It was amazing. It was the most money that I think they've ever seen at their bar. Okay. Um, yeah, my family's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I had a couple of, yeah, that fundraiser. I had um, my two jobs, actually. And that time during my album, creating my album, I had three jobs. So. Um, I was working like a Jamaican, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> Lots of jobs. <laughs> Lots of jobs. <laughs> yeah. I had so many jobs. I did, I did. I don't have so many now, uh -huh. um, but I am back at work, so. Yeah. So now, now that we're on the subject of multiple streams of income, clothing line. Yes. You know, and, yes. you know, makeup colors and things like that mm -hmm. you know is that something that you see it in is the future? it is actually yeah. I have a clothing line that's coming out called 10 by 10 uh -huh. um, and it's called 10 by 10 clothing um, it's pretty it's pretty awesome I'm really excited about it but it's pretty much just to wrap wrap it up really quick is um we all have 10 fingers yeah so that we can go and reach our blessing and grab our blessings yeah, yeah and go and grab Go get it, girl. You know, yes. you have ten toes that make up your feet to go and walk out your blessing, right? Yeah. Faith, faith without works is dead. That's right. Yeah. So you need to work. That's right. Those you can have faith. faith. You can be like, oh, and pray and pray and pray. However, it's not gonna fall in your lap. That's yeah. right. So ten by ten is um, also, you know, ten commandments. Everyone thinks there are a hundred. But ain't nobody a hundred. Right. Everyone thinks you're a hundred. Right. You're not a hundred. I'm not a hundred. I'm not. I'm, I truly am not. However, you're only a hundred if you follow the Ten Commandments. That's right. So ten by ten is, um, yeah. That's pretty much. That's what it means. I love yeah. That. Thank you. But to the eye, uh huh, and to the children and the younger generation, that's what they see mm -hmm. is a hundred. Oh, ten by ten. Oh yeah, I'm I'm a hundred. You know. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Okay, sweetheart, here, go ahead, wear that. And then what you clothe yourself with, yes, you'll be clothed with the Ten Commandments. As, you know, everything that I print and and ship, I always pray over. So, nice. yeah, that's like something. So I have like some cool packaging and all that good stuff. So Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. I'm really, really excited for it. I can't wait to see it. I have a shirt. Okay. What, is the, what do you believe is the most important online presence you have? What do I believe is the most important, important online presence I mm -hmm. have? Like Instagram, Facebook. Probably, yeah, my Instagram. My Instagram account. My Instagram. I just reached 10,000 followers <gasps> on Facebook. Ooh. That has taken me forever. That's okay. You made it. You did. I made it. I made it. Oh my gosh. Wow. But yeah, 10,000 followers on Facebook. So that was exciting. That's amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look, you're doing it. It's you so are so doing so it. Yeah, I just actually hit yesterday, so I was all really? excited. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just yesterday. And then I I have like about 38,000 followers on Instagram. Nice. However, followers sometimes don't mean a thing. You have 38,000 followers on Instagram, mm -hmm. but I only got a thousand purchases of my album for the first month. Okay. So because they're following don't mean they're buying. Mm -hmm. It just means they follow. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm, I've created so many avenues for people to get to know me. Yes. So I have a documentary coming out. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm so excited to release that. I'm actually headed after here to go uh -huh. and finish editing it. In nice. LA. Yeah, so that's really exciting. Uh, so I like to um, create these visuals so that people can get to know me and my mm -hmm. family. Okay. Because without 
knowing me, they won't support me. So pe right. a lot of people when I do shows, um, which are, you know, they're not all the time. I don't have shows all the time. Mm -hmm. So when I do do shows, a lot of the people that come to the, to the shows, they say, I didn't expect you to be this way. Okay. It's like, how did you expect, expect me to yeah. be? So they you want know, to know me. They want to know me. Yeah. And that's literally, so many people come and say that, like, I didn't expect you to be like this. You're so, you're so like me. And so I literally want to create, I wanted to create these visuals where people mm -hmm. can get to know me. Yes. And they can literally have a one-on-one -on -one with Tanel. And that's why I take any interview and any radio. And I, there's so many people in this world that can relate to me. So, yeah. Yeah, if they, if they relate to me, then they'll relate to my music. Yes. And they relate to my music, then they'll invest in my music. That's right. And when they invest in my music, I can invest it into sewing it into all of the things that I have going. So, yeah, nice. good vibes and good energy is all I want. And yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. Now you talk about your family a lot, so I, I do. wanna I wanna get to know your your family a little bit. So your mom and your dad. Yes. And my, you said you have how many siblings? I have seven. Well, I'm, I have six. You're number seven. Yeah. I mean, well, there's seven. Yes, there's seven of us. I'm the oldest of seven. Wow. Yes, I know. Wow. Yeah. And uh, that's a lot of people. It is. Yeah, and you're yes. and the, and they're all younger than you, so you're they like are. they're all younger than me and taller than me. <laughs> now that's I'm amazing. the oldest and the, the shortest. shortest. And I'm pretty tall. I was gonna say you're Thank not you. you're not a short girl. <laughs> Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you. These are some very tall people. Yeah, there's some avatars. <laughs> I call them my avatars. My little brother is like six foot five. My little, my two baby sisters are six one, and then um, my other baby brother is six two, and then yeah, I'm five seven and a half. Five eight. Five eight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Five eight. I'm five eight. You're five eight. But yeah, yeah, they're they're very tall. Very. That, I love my siblings so much. My uh, baby sister, she got a four. Taryn, she got a four at the University of Arizona mm -hmm. um, for volleyball. Tani is at the University of Utah for volleyball, and then my baby brother Anthony, he just got a four at scholarship for University of Arizona wow. for football. Yes, so mm -hmm. it's amazing. I, I probably could have got a four at scholarship for softball, but I didn't. I wasn't invested in it. Anymore. You love the music more. I love the music more. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I did. I truly did. Now you have a very exotic look. Oh, so do I? Yes, you I just got ready in the car, girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the way I got ready in the car. So what is your heritage? I'm someone in black. Okay. Yes. So my mom is black and my dad is someone. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm my alter ego is Puerto Rican. Okay. Her name is Rosie. I'm just Rosie. Kidding. <laughs> So I'm kidding. So I'm kidding. <laughs> now, what message do you want people to know or remember about your music? Oh, that love, love covers all. It covers all wounds. It covers all voids. It fills all voids. Um, mm -hmm. And that I just want people to smile. Like honestly, I just want people to smile and smile real, mm -hmm. um, and not hide certain things behind their smile. Yeah. yeah. So I know. Yeah. I know that show. Yes. Now, I'm scared to ask you, but what do you think about wealth? What? What? When you hear the word wealth, what do you think? What does that? Wealth is wealth. Wealth is awesome. Wealth is wealth is great. I mean what you do with it that that's that's what the, determines yes certain people's opinions yeah. and, and what people do with their money that's what they do with their money however when if I am put in a position to be wealthy mm -hmm. um, I know that what you invested in is is important you know yeah so it's so important. it really is it's so important and I know that um, you know J. Cole had a dollar and a dream. I have a penny and a prayer. So, wealth is not bad. That's right. Money is not evil. Mm -hmm. The love, love of money, money is, is evil. evil. Yes. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So this segment of the show is called the balance sheet, and it's brought to you by Arbonne International. So thank you, Arbonne. Um, in this segment, we like to ask all of the guests the same questions. So are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. That's okay. okay here we it's go. gonna be all right. Let's do this. Okay. So, okay. so, what is your most memorable paycheck you've ever had? Um, memorable. Mm -hmm. Memorable. Okay, memorable. I'm gonna go here. 
I used to sell oranges. Okay. Apuch en sus cajas, por favor. That's what the lady used to say. She used to say, Apuch en sus cajas, por favor. Push the boxes. Uh huh. I used to lose my check every week. $200. Wow. And yeah, that's one more. That's memorable. Heck yeah. I don't want that memory ever, ever again. again. No, no, yeah, so okay. you think about that and you go, oh no. Oh, no, no, the no, not no. Yet. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like that answer. Yeah. See? What do you know now that you wish you would have known back then? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, huh? Ooh, let's not go too deep to know. Okay. No, no. Uh, <laughs> what do I know now? But I wish I would have known then. Um, my potential. Okay. I know how hard I can work now. Mm -hmm. And I wish I worked as hard as I work now then. Because I would not. I don't regret where I am. Yes. However, if I worked as hard as I'm working now, then, ooh, where would I be? Stratosphere. Jesus. Stratosphere. Stratosphere. She gonna get there one She's day. She's gonna get there one day at yes. a time. But yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so now, what does success mean to you? What does success mean to me? Mm -hmm. What does success mean? Success to you? means security. Success means. Um, yeah, success means security. It means um, being secure in yourself, being secure with finance, being secure with your future, being secure with um, yeah, your body, your your, mm -hmm. your your being, your mental state, your heart. Yeah, that's success. Yeah. And then, does is there anything that keeps you up at night? Music. Music. <laughs> music. It's all in your head. Music, okay. music's all in my head. I have um I have a I have a huge heart. We all have heart. We all yes. have huge hearts, yes. Um but yes, I, I love in a in a in a in a hard, hard way. And the way I love keeps me up at night. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Now, if you won the lottery right now, what would you do? Woo! With the money? If I won the lottery right now, <laughs> Oh my gosh, what do I would do with the money? Okay. First, we would like say a prayer. Yes. We would say a prayer right thank now. God. We would thank we would thank Jesus yes. and ask him what what do we do with all this money? Yes. What would I would call my mom and my dad. Uh-huh. Then I'd call my grand. Uh-huh. Then I'd probably call my Auntie Sonia. After I call them, we'd probably go and eat. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. We'd probably just go <laughs> eat and just like soak in the reality that we just won. How much money would I win anyways? Like, oh, it's a lottery. A, lot, a lottery, a whole bunch of money. $80 million. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, fan, I'm fan, I'm fan. <laughs> I, 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 uh, there's a lot of things that I would do with that money. The first thing you would do is sit down and eat. The first thing I'd do is sit down and eat and it'd probably take like a week off to myself to literally think and plan think on it. what it is that I'm going to invest all of this money into. And who is ready to receive portions of portions it. of That's it. right. Yes, yeah. so I would literally probably be, I probably would need some time for myself to just sit and, and pray. Yeah, so you could. I would just pray. I'd probably just pray and fast for those seven days. So that you know. <laughs> so that you know, like, I know. That's a lot of money. I don't really know. That is know. a lot of money. I uh -huh. wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. To know. Oh, no, Jesus would know what to do. <laughs> Ten percent, Lloyd. I was ten percent goes back. That's yes, right. Wait, wait, wait. First, right off the top. <laughs> oh my gosh! I would. Ooh, I hope that would happen one day. That'd be so amazing. Mm -hmm. I get so many people out of debt, though. That's for sure. Yes. Well, Tanel, it has been a pleasure. My pleasure. pleasure having you on. And you promise to come back? Yes, of course. Good. Now, yes. one more request I have of you. Okay. Would you please sing your song for us? Yes. Gotcha. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. What's up, guys? My name is Tanel, and you are tuned in to Lunch with the Finance Bunch. Ooh. Day and night. 
night You can run but you can't hide the way I am now Said where are you now? The way you kiss me and how you used to feel inside Falling for you I can't deny but where are you now? Thank you so much, Tanel, for being a part of this show. As a guest, you are absolutely wonderful. You can follow us on all of our social media, and you can also hear us on Accelerated Radio. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a wrap. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>